Hello world <laughs> from San Francisco. I am very excited to talk to you about how to make friends when you're traveling worldwide. It's not as hard as you think. It just takes practice. And maybe it's because I'm from New York that I don't find it difficult to do because you know, when you practice not caring what people think of you, you can make a lot of good friends. Well, you can make friends with people, let me clarify with that, by taking a chance and approaching people. So, um, if you don't know the language, that is actually helpful because you have to get help from people. So that's the cool thing about traveling solo is that uh, sometimes you have to reach out to people um, that look trustworthy and not sketchy. And, um, and you find out a lot about humanity. Um, so here are my tricks. Smile at people that you sense are safe. <laughs> And next thing you know, you might be in a conversation. Um, when I first started traveling, I remember I first got to Buenos Aires and I was staying at this hostel and I, my typical, usually I like to talk to people and I started talking to a guy and then his girlfriend showed up standing there like, don't talk to my boyfriend. And I thought, oh, okay, I, I don't want to be his new girlfriend. I just was talking. <laughs> to be friendly um, and then you just get so you don't care about that because um, your intentions are good you're just being friendly and it doesn't matter if people don't respond that's the thing put it out there be friendly smile a lot and um, get help with the language so, you know, this is all in situations where it's not in private. You, there's like lots of people around, so you never have to feel like it's a weird situation. I mean, I've had weird situations, but I've gotten out of them. Um, trust your gut. Uh, but back to making friends. Smiling, getting help with directions. Uh, most people don't know where anything is located. <laughs> So don't be too sure to take those directions, but if you ask people um, You strike up conversations and you know if you're staying like I, the thing about staying in places that are Lower budget rather than fancy places, which I've stayed in you actually end up talking to people more you're a little bit closer quarters and um, You can be friendly and considerate um, and then with locals, it's kind of more about assessing how much you can actually really carry on a conversation with them depending on how much of the language both of you know that you can, you can uh, interact on. But you know, sometimes you don't have to know any of the language, you can just pantomime, which um, I've gotten pretty good at. So smiling, being friendly, um, being open is the thing. So it's great to be in a new environment because it forces you to think out of your regular comfort zone. It, you have to. There's new sights, smells, feelings, new language, new money, new clothing. I mean, it's really cool and that's one of the reasons I travel because it throws you into a state of complete newness. So, um, it's not like I'm alone all the time because I'm making friends as I go. So, check it out. Don't be afraid to go. You can do it. I'll see you in the next video.